As a kid, I had two favorite movies, Terminator 2 Judgment Day and that one where Sinbad played a genie. Well, yesterday, Google DeepMind released a new AI model that's like if those two movies had a baby. It's named Genie 3 and has the ability to create controllable virtual worlds from a text prompt and simulate them in real time at 720p resolution and 24 frames per second. And we're not just talking about video rendering here, but worlds with actual physical properties that you can interact with like an open world video game. Genie is an AI system that understands reality well enough to simulate it. Think of it like the inverse of perception. Instead of understanding what it sees, it generates what could be seen if it had eyeballs like us. And that's a big deal because it gives autonomous systems and robots an unlimited number of simulated environments for training. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at Genie, along with two other big AI announcements that you may have missed if you blinked yesterday. It is August 6, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. But before we talk about Google's Genie, OpenAI did something I thought I would never see. They released an OpenAI model with an Apache 2.0 license, meaning you can use it freely to build a billion dollar business. GPT OSS is a model that's so good it approaches the performance of other state-of-the-art reasoning models like O3, while being small enough to run on your laptop or even your phone. I tried it out on Olong and while it's great to have another open model, it still feels overly censored and a little bit behind Quen 3 in general intelligence. And with smaller models, you get higher hallucination rates, which is understandable because you have to cut out a lot of knowledge. That makes it hard to use for any kind of serious programming, but luckily software engineers also got a big upgrade yesterday from Anthropic with the release of Claude Opus 4.1. The upgraded model made an improvement to its already impressive software engineering bench score, and supposedly this model is supposed to be way better at multi-file code refactoring. Factoring. And that's a big deal, because as your project grows larger, the more useless AI becomes. But large language models are like so boring in 2025. And the shiny new AI object for today is something called a world model, with Genie 3 being the frontier model released by Google DeepMind yesterday. Tech influencers are calling it a watershed moment that pushes us to the brink of AGI. But, but remember, you should never listen to tech influencers, especially faceless AI-powered YouTube channels that are owned by private equity. That being said, Genie 3 is without exaggeration a a watershed moment that puts us dangerously close to self-replicating genocidal machines by giving robots an unlimited simulation space. It generates realistic physical environments with incredible consistency. And what's especially weird is that the consistency is an emergent property, meaning the model just kind of magically got better at keeping the graphics consistent as it got bigger, as opposed to being a deliberate change to the algorithm implemented by programmers. Google has been working on these world models for a while, but Genie 3 is the first one with an interaction horizon that lasts multiple minutes, and that can generate high-resolution graphics in real time. It can create both realistic and fictional worlds from a simple text prompt, while also giving physical properties to objects in that world that you can interact with just like a video game. It's a fun little toy for us humans, but for robots, it provides an unlimited training space to get better and better at what they do. Humanoid Robot Tech is right around the corner, with Unitree releasing the R1 for just $5,900 a few weeks ago. And it won't be long before robots like this are cooking our meals, walking our dogs, and curing our loneliness. If you want to get in on this future, though, you need to use the right tools, like Warp, the sponsor of today's video. CLI-based AI tools have been dominating headlines lately, but Warp's agentic development environment might be the most goaded one yet. Its coding agent beat out Claude Code and the Gemini CLI to land the number one spot on the Terminal Bench benchmark, along with a top five spot on SWE Bench. And unlike other CLI tools, Warp also gives you the key parts of the IDE that you need to edit files, review diffs, and and ship production-ready code. It also lets you run and manage multiple files in parallel, and is engineered for a deeper context and better planning, with full access to your stack and your codebase embeddings. Warp is free to use, but you can get access to one month of their pro plan for just a dollar using the code TOPAGENT. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.